Welcome to my name's Craig from Nonstop Kids Entertainment. Welcome to another vlog. This is probably one of the most important vlogs you're gonna to listen to. It's all about how you can make sure that you have a venue for your child's party in 2020. Now, to be clear, uh, I'm filming this at the end of August 2020, so we've gone through lockdown. Restruct lockdown restrictions have continued to be eased over the last couple of months. We've been doing garden parties, before that we were doing virtual parties, and now the government have announced that we can do live parties, which means that we can actually go and perform uh, in, in inside. We can do live entertainment inside a venue, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, village halls and, and community centres opened up a little while ago, but they couldn't have gatherings inside them but now we can so we can actually run birthday parties inside a venue but there's two very important things that you need to know and that's what this vlog is all about and the first thing that's really important that you need to know is that the company that you book to do the entertainment must be covid secure now what i mean by covid secure is they must have make, made sure that they have taken thoroughly detailed steps to make sure that your guests, your child, your child's friends, the entertainer and everyone else that's there is kept safe and healthy and we've done whatever we can to make sure that COVID has not been passed from one person to another. Um, it's very important that you book a company to do that. You don't want to have someone coming along that's just very blasé and goes, hey, hey, here I am, blah, 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 blah. So we've done that. I've, I've, I've spoke about this before on different vlogs, but we've put steps in place we've, uh, to make sure that all of our parties are COVID secure. So, you know, we wipe the equipment down. We completely thoroughly clean the equipment before and after every party. Uh, we make sure that all of our entertainers are fit and healthy uh, so that when you get an entertainer at your party, they are absolutely 100% fighting fit. Um, we make sure that all government guidelines are maintained. We actually maintain social distancing throughout. We have completely redesigned our act and our shows to make sure um, that while still being very interactive and amazing, all of these government guidelines are, are, are being hit at all times, which is very, very important. So number one, make sure that the company that you book or the person that you book is COVID secure. Secondly, if you want to have your party inside a venue, you need to make sure that you can find the venue that is happy for you to have a party there at their venue. Let me explain. Um, Although the government have actually said that parties can be run and, and there's a lot of venues that are super excited and they're like, yeah, 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 come, come in, come in, come in, you know, we want to, we want your business. There's other companies, uh, there's other uh, venues like village halls and community centres that are kind of playing it safe and although they, they can open, they're choosing not to. Now, the reason is a lot of these village halls and community centres are run by volunteers and because they're run by volunteers, they're less inclined to want to actually open for business, if that makes sense. Even though the kind of governing body that kind of uh, covers this whole thing has said, yes, it's absolutely fine. Please, it's not a problem. You can you can book children's entertainment. Now you can host children's parties. A lot of the, uh, the venues are playing it safe. So the question is, how can you get a venue? How can you arrange a venue for your child's party? Well, first of all, it might take a little bit of looking around. You might want to shop around and uh, kind of, uh, you know, you don't want to just ring up your first venue and go, hey, can I, can I book it here? You might be lucky, but it might be a bit of, uh, of shopping around. Secondly, you might want to think outside the box a little bit and start looking at venues that you wouldn't normally consider to be a children's party venue that would probably be okay. So for example, rather than the village hall, maybe a, a, a venue that does business meetings and has big meeting rooms, maybe that's somewhere that you might want to try because they're open for business, they are a business, and they're probably not going to be running at 100% capacity right now, so you're going to want people booking it. But if you want your uh, your venue to be a village hall or community hall, what you have to do is you have to explain to that village hall, to that community hall, to that venue, you need to explain to them that your party is going to be COVID secure. Now, one thing that we've done to help our clients is we can supply you documentation that you can show to your venue to say, hey, look, I've booked this company. I've booked Nonstop Kids Entertainment. They're the largest children's entertainment company in the UK. They work with Drayton Manor. They work with Royal Albert Hall. They work with all these big companies. They have put things in place to make sure that everyone is kept safe. And we can send you documentation. So we can send you a list, a PDF list of everything that we've done and everything that we continue to do. We can send you risk assessments where we've literally broken down every single potential risk that might happen as a result of running a kid's party and what we have done about it internally to make sure that doesn't happen. Right down to doing balloon modeling and blowing them up with, a, not blowing them up with a mouth and instead blowing them up with a balloon pump. Just as one little thing. So it outlines every single risk, which is something that a lot of venues would want to see. Um, um, 
we can send that to you. Obviously, we can send the normal stuff that we'd always send anyway, which is like the PLI, public liability insurance, PAP certificates, and everything that the venues probably will want to see. Um, however, we can send you all this extra documentation as well. For a couple of clients, we've even rung the venue on their behalf and explained what we're actually doing to them. Now, there's going to be some village halls and venues that are absolutely fine and you won't have to do this, but there are going to be other venues that will need a little bit of cajoling. But what you need to understand is venues can now have gatherings inside. We can have parties. There's certain things that we have to do to make sure that we are secure when we're running these parties. However, we have put that in place and it will not affect the enjoyment of the children. It is just as interactive as normal. The kids won't realize. It's just amazing what we've done. We spent a lot of time and effort on this. So there you go. That's what you need to know to book a venue for your child's party from now until the end of the year in 2020. Times are a bit weird, but we can get to back to a certain degree of normality and running children's parties is a very important way to do that you know children want entertainment they thrive on entertainment and we're doing everything in our power to make sure that your child can have a child's party now if you want to know more give us a call the number's 0333013002 we would be happy to talk through this on the phone to you we'd be happy to go through different options if you prefer email drop us an email to nonstopkids info at nonstopkids.co.uk or finally you can just fill in the contact form on our website and we'll get back to you with a no obligation quote and consultation whatever you do thanks very much for watching this vlog really appreciate it my name is craig from non-stop kids entertainment and we will see you again soon bye